to make a bundle dime, you would definitely need some fabric that are made out of natural fibers. I have some old t-shirts, a cotton mask, and a tote bag. You can also use silk if you have them available, but what's more important is that the fabric itself is made out of natural fiber. Then, it depends on what you have in your kitchen and your garden, here are some of the choices that I've gathered to bundle dye with. I have some purple cabbage, I also have some red onion skin, this also can be yellow onion skin, some avocado skin, then I also have some coffee ground that's already been used, some saffron I just have laying around my kitchen. This is curry powder, but if you have turmeric powder, um, that's also an option. I also have some hibiscus flour that are used for tea. Speaking of tea, I have a black tea bag here, and also just some dried peonies that I have. Then I happen to have some red roses at home, so here are some of the choices for you to consider. Additionally, you will also need to have access to a stove with a pot that's large enough for your fabric. Instead of your pot, you want to have some sort of stand to place your fabric on. You also need a lid for your pot. Then you will also need some white distilled vinegar. Just any good old white distilled vinegar will do the job. If you have a spray bottle, it will come in handy, but it's not required. Then a pair of tongs and some rubber bands. You can also use cotton twine in replacement of your rubber bands. So I have already soaked my t-shirt in the vinegar water for a little bit and wring out the excess water. You want your fabric to be damp, not dripping wet. Alternatively, you can also use a spray bottle to spray down your fabric. Then I'm going to start sprinkling some of the materials that I gathered earlier. Maybe I'll start with some of these rose petals. So I might want to leave some of them large, maybe some of them smaller. It's kind of placing them all over t-shirt and not making any specific design. Next I think I want to add my purple cabbage. I actually have them uh, cut up in these strips. Next I want to go ahead and open up my tea bag and sprinkle the tea leaves over my fabric. Then I think I also want to add some of my coffee ground, maybe some of my curry powder, a little bit of it goes a long way. Next maybe some of my saffron flour. Then I'm going to add in my onion skins, kind of the same thing. I'm going to leave some of them kind of a large pieces, some of them kind of small. Once you think you're ready, you want to start rolling your fabric. I'm going to fold in the sleeve of my t-shirt and start rolling my t-shirt from one end to the other tightly. Once you have it in a long skinny roll, you want to roll it into a cinnamon bun, a circular shape, like so. Next, I want to take my rubber band or my twine and secure it in a nice tight bundle. And with the rubber band that comes in colors, just know that the colors might come off onto your fabric. It might be Kind of fun additional colors to have. So I'm going to try it with my blue rubber band. Once you have secured your fabric in a nice tight bundle, then we can go ahead and put it in the steamer or your instant pot to steam it for about an hour. After steaming my garment for about an hour, flipping it halfway through. I actually left it overnight and now I'm ready to unwrap this and see what it looks like. 
kind of like unwrapping a Christmas gift that you don't know what you might get. I took the shirt over the sink and got all the dye stuff off. It's easier, especially when you have a lot of smaller pieces to do it over the sink. I also threw it in a dryer, so now it's completely dry. And I've noticed that the colors became a lot lighter compared to when we first took it out of the steamer. I'm noticing there's a lot of the purple from the purple cabbage and maybe some from the rose petals. When I first took it out, they were a lot darker. Same thing with the yellow. Um, I'm guessing a lot of these are from the saffron and some from my curry powder. There's some very subtle shades of brown. I'm guessing they're from my coffee or my tea. Here are a few more examples. This one had a lot of coffee ground and onion skin. And there's the purples are also coming from the cabbage, the purple cabbage that I used. A lot of brown coming from the coffee. Some of these onion skins are left in larger pieces so you can kind of see the shape of it. This one had a lot more purple. Definitely some purple cabbage and some of the yellow are coming from the curry powder. There's one more example here. This one, the onion skins were mostly left in large pieces. I also folded this one from the corner rather than the bottom of my bag. So you can see these diagonal lines going across the bag that way. What's interesting is that I noticed the, there was negative space here from the sticker of the onion. So experiment with what you have because every time that you do this, it will come out differently. The colors, the shapes, the design will be entirely different. So enjoy and have fun with this activity and I will see you next time.